Hey, this is Phyllis. In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, how to tune this 11 by 13 inch tom tom uh, using the um, the drum dial. The first thing you want to do, uh, you always want to check out your hardware. Make sure uh, nothing's broke, uh, nothing's stripped. Check the inside uh, gear. Uh, make sure that these screws are not loose. Uh, you also want to check around your bearing edge. If you're not sure what the bearing edge is, it's that edge right at the uh, top of the drum that's sloping in a downward position. Make sure there are no nicks or anything like that. Also take you a tape measure. Set it across like this. Run it around in this manner. Make sure that this drum is even completely all the way around, that it's not warped. Uh, if it's warped in any way, uh, it's going to hinder the uh, the tuning process and it will never allow your drum to tune properly and you'll spend many many aggravating hours uh, trying to get your drums tuned and like I said they'll never tune up uh, if this drum is warped or the barren edge is damaged or uh, because uh, drum tuning is all about uh, seating the uh, drum head on the head evenly. You also uh, at this time want to sit this hoop uh, on a wood counter or a wood floor that is uh, level. You want to sit it on like this. Make sure it's not warped. You also want to flip it over. I don't want my screws to fall out, but you want to check it on both sides to make sure that this hoop is not bent or warped in any way. Because like I said, that will um, hinder your tuning process. Also make sure that your screws are in good shape. They're not stripped. If they are, you need to replace them. You need to make sure that you've got your little washer uh, on this screw. Uh, anything that, that's, that, that's not right on this hoop or on this drum, it will hinder your tuning process and you will never get your drum uh, tuned to your satisfaction. So, uh, you know, take that into consideration. So, I'll uh, go ahead and I'll, um, I'll start out by explaining the, uh, the drum dial uh, to you first. Uh, I'll show you the parts of it and show you how to calibrate it. Okay, in order to uh, to calibrate the uh, the drum dial, uh, the manufacturer recommends that you set it on a glass surface. Uh, that is so you can have a a really smooth, even uh, area that's not uh, that's not going to throw the balance off. Uh, I don't have a um, a glass top, so I'm using my uh, wood dresser. Uh, it's a very flat surface and it's uh, it's level. And uh, the first part of the calibration, this is going to uh, push this um, little probe right here. It's going to push it all the way in. So it's going to uh, sit down just like this. I'm going to sit it down on the end. And you want to make sure that this is on zero. If it's not, you'll loosen this little dial and turn this little black dial right here and then tighten it up. Then once you uh, lift it up and you're little probe is straight out like it's supposed to be you want to make sure that this part uh, is on zero if it's not you turn this little knob up on top and once everything sit it back down once everything is on zero that means that this is calibrated the that is very important that the uh, drum dial is calibrated okay then we uh, come back to the drum and we take the head you always want to make sure that your logo is matching up with your uh, logo right here on the uh, side of the drum. Uh, that doesn't have anything to do with tuning, uh, but you uh, you don't want your drums to look tacky or sloppy or anything. Once you get the logo head uh, matched up over here with the uh, logo on the drum, make sure that's uh, turn it a few times. Then you'll take your hoop, you set your hoop on. And then you'll uh, start finger tightening your screws. Okay, uh, while you're finger tightening um, up your drum, uh, let me go ahead and uh, and say if you've got any parts like you've got a bad lug or bad screw or something, go ahead and uh, and replace it. You'll save yourself many many hours of a uh, aggravation. You know, if it costs you ten or fifteen bucks, that's uh, you know, going to be worth the uh, aggravation that you're going to endure if this drum is not going to tune to the uh, the sound that you're satisfied with. So um, I've got these finger tight, and I'll go around one more time with my strongest hand. Make sure that they're finger tight. 
It's uh, usually you're a little bit stronger in one hand than you are the other hand. Take your palm of your hand, sit it in the middle, other hand over top of it. Push down a couple times. If it pops and cracks, that's normal. That means the head is seating. You're not going to hurt this drum head. Then go back around. Still in the crisscross manner. Okay, um, once I've got them finger tight, uh, this is how the drum sounds. Sounds really flat, not a lot of resonance. I'll go over the uh, tuning guide for you uh, just a little bit. Uh, the tuning guide is going to, um, so I'm probably not doing too good of a close up on this because I'm running the camera by myself. Uh, it's going to give you the drum size, then it's going to give you uh, like a, a batter medium clear head or if you're using a batter coated, which this particular one uh, is an Evans uh, coated, it's an EC2 coated. Uh, it'll also uh, give you an option for the batter 2 ply and on the uh, resonant uh, thin clear, which that's what uh, you know most people use, this is thin clear so there's just one choice on the resonant side. So uh, like I said, this particular uh, drum is 11 by 13. I would look uh, under drum size on my tuning guide and I do have a batter coated so this would tell me to uh, to tension the uh, each lug at 75 to uh, 78. Okay first thing I want to do is uh, go ahead and set the drum dial uh, up here and just see where it's reading uh, while it's you know flat and has that dead sound. Okay this is reading uh, at about 69 I don't recommend using a drum dial on a bed uh, just for this purpose. I'm using it on a bed because I'm operating the camera uh, on a tripod. I do recommend that you put this on a very flat surface when you're using uh, the drum dial or tuning your drum uh, or in the floor. So as far as my finger tighten goes, uh, they're all pretty close to uh, around 69. So I'm going to go ahead and with the drum key, I'm going to uh, start out by making uh, a half a turn. If you're not sure what a half a turn is, uh, I put hit my finger here and come all the way around. That's half. When I talk about quarter turns, if you're not sure what a quarter turn is, uh, hold your drum key like this. Uh, imagine you're looking at a clock and this is the 12 o'clock position. This is the 3 o'clock position. You want to turn your drum key from the 12 o'clock position to the 3 o'clock position. That's considered a quarter turn. So I'm going to start out here uh, with a half a turn. Like I said, you want to make sure that you uh, crisscross each lug. That's very important in uh, getting these drum heads seated evenly. Okay, then I stop at this point. I'm going to put my drum dial uh, back up on the drums to, uh, you know, see how the tension's going. Because, like I said, you want to make sure that that the uh, head is tensioned evenly at each lug. Okay, so uh, I start with this lug. Uh, it's reading right about 76. So I'm going to crisscross and jump over here. And this lug is reading about 74. But uh, I'm going to make a really small increment because uh, you don't want to sit here and try to uh, make a half turn uh, because of the, um, the sensitivity of, of this drum dial making that half a turn. Uh, it's probably going to move this since it's sitting at 74. It probably move it up to about 80, but you wouldn't know it until you uh, took it back off, let it release, and set it back down. So anytime you're uh, trying to make your adjustments, make real small uh, adjustments, less than a quarter of a turn, and then go on to the, uh, to the next lug, or you can hold it up and let it reset and set it back down. So like I said, with that small turn that I just made, uh, it moved it up uh, really close to 76. And I come back down to this one. Okay, these uh, sound pretty even now, and we're going to hear how the drum sounds. Just take into consideration that the camera mic is not all that great. And um, so we'll give it a listen. <laughs> 